Protection and the Belize Bank. Our country, your bank. Good evening. I'm James Adderley. Welcome to this portion of Sports Monday. We start off with Saturday's big clash in the Cayo First Division football competition as Bully Tree battled West Truck inside the Norman Broster Stadium. Folks, we're only some five minutes into the action when Luis Arevalo fires this right foot shot just inside the box and goalkeeper Robin Rodriguez batches what should have been an easy save as West Truck takes the one zip lead. Four minutes later, West Truck defender Carlos Rosales hands this ball. It might have been inadvertent, but the decision belonged to the referee, and he rules penalty for bullet three. Elvis Pinello gets the call, and he doesn't disappoint beating Ayel De La Rosa rather easily to knock the score at one apiece. West Track then looks to retake the lead on this outside bump from Mario Herrera, but Robin Rodriguez handles the launch at the other end. Elvis Pinello does everything right until he pulls the trigger to unleash a shot that has no legs. It's West Track again on the move off the set piece that forces the goalkeeper into a tough save. At the half, we have a 1 1 tie. Meanwhile, a minute into a resumption of play, Luis Arevalo fires this ground that goal. Rodriguez intervenes, but the rebound reaches Freddy Herrera, and West Track takes the 2 1 lead. Herrera wants more, so he fires this potent right foot that rises over the crossbar. Nevertheless, it's Freddy Herrera who puts the game out of reach with the screamer that crashes into the net as West Track grabs the 3 1 big double, and they deserved it. In the meantime, we made a push into the People's Stadium at OW on Saturday for the advertised Belikin PBL competition match between FC Belize and Verdes FC, only to find the schedule was rained out. This match now gets underway on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. inside the People's Stadium. Now, here are the results from the ball games that were concluded on Sunday in the Belikin Cup. Wagia FC and Belmopan Bandits battle to a one-all draw. The BDF rolled over Paradise Freedom Fighters in a two-zip blast. That's on Sunday. On Saturday, it was Texmar Assassins, formerly the Placencia Assassins, and Police United settling in a scoreless stalemate. Now let's return to the People's Stadium, where the Orange Rock Male Softball Championship match from Jada's Male Softball facing Mad Bull for all the marbles. We're in the bottom of the third with Brian Grant of Mad Bull facing Jada's male pitcher, Jeremy Che, and he makes contact with a double to center field, which allows Milton Flores to score all the way from second base. Che gets out of the inning when he forces Willard Jones to pop up to center field and number eight, Robert Crawford makes the catch. In the top of the fifth, Ray Chable comes up against Damian Chan and he fires to the outfield. It's deep enough to allow John Maharis to score from third and tie the ball game at one apiece. We're in the top of the seventh. Cos Maharis steps up against Milton Flores, who had replaced Chan on the mound. And he unleashes a pass ball that triggers two throwing errors. Willard Jones scores all the way from first to give Jada's mail the 2-1 lead. Later in the inning, Flores is again victimized by a pass ball. And player number three, we've got to call him that, scores from third to give Jada's the 3-1 lead. In the bottom of the inning, this batter beats out the bunt. And Carlton Flowers scores from second base to make it a 3-2 score. And it's the close one. Mad Bull is now down to their last out when Shaquille Moody grounds this ball to second base, whose throw gets Moody, and yeah, Jada's male hang on to the 3-2 score to claim the Orange Rock male softball title. On the female side, Jada's won over Caribbean Queen 16-4 on the Mercy Rule to tie this championship series at one of you will recall Caribbean Queen won last week. The decisive game three comes up this Sunday, 2 p.m. at the People's Stadium. In volleyball news, Stan Creek Ecumenical College took the female South Zone Volleyball Regional by beating the Toledo Community College in the finals while the Lille Academy finished third on the male side. The Toledo Community College took top honors, Georgetown Technical High second, and the Lille Academy finished third. Hey. 
good show. Hey folks, that's our show for today. Hope to see you next week. That's it. Yeah, over all. I'm James Allerly. Sports Monday was brought to you by Berger Pins for lasting beauty and protection.